We've seen on a few occasions how to create text files and empty files. Now what if we wanted to do a little bit more? We want to actually edit these files and create some text content inside them. To do that, we're going to be using a tool called Nano. In this section, we're going to be covering some Nano basic commands. Historically, Nano is a clone of another tool called Pico. Both are available in Kali. Sometimes you might come across older systems that do not have Nano. Fear not, if Nano is not there, you could still use Pico. There's a lot of different camps and supporters out there for Nano, VI, Vim, or Emacs. You'll see a lot of debates and discussions online on which one is better and which one is more advanced and which one you should or shouldn't be using. Don't worry too much about this, especially if you're beginning in Linux. Nano is the easiest. However, it's not as advanced as VI, Vim, or Emacs. Having said that, VI, Vim, and Emacs will not be covered in this course. We're trying to keep things as easy as possible for you guys. And Nano is going to be more than enough to get the job done. Later on, if you feel like venturing a little bit more, you can dive into VI, Vim, or Emacs and ultimately choose whichever tool you prefer to use. So let's have a look at Nano and how it works. I'm in my documents directory and I'm going to create a file called hackersacademy.txt. I do that by typing nano space hackers-academy.txt and this opens a new file for me. Notice the title of the file on the top, hackers-academy.txt. There's a prompt blinking where I can type my text and on the lower side, I can see a bunch of characters. See this character that looks like a small hat? On my keyboard, it's a shift six. This obviously depends on what keyboard you're using. This in Nano stands for the control key. So right now, what I'm looking at is control G to get help. Let's do that. Let's hit control plus G and the help file opens up for us. And this explains what this character does here. It says this is the control key sequences. Now, obviously I can scroll down and up and read the entire text file, but I don't need to do that to exit the help. See that command on the bottom left? It says Control X to exit. So I'm gonna do just that and go back to my Nano prompt. If I do Control X again, I exit Nano completely. Now notice what happened here. If I type LS to do a listing of my directory, you notice that there is no file called hackers-academy.txt. So the file wasn't created because I didn't save it. Let me try the command again. Again, I'm going to do nano hackersacademy.txt and now I'm going to type some text. I'm just going to say learning Kali Linux at Hackers Academy. And now if you look down at the commands, I have the write out command. In nano, this basically means save. And to do that, I can hit the control plus O key. Notice I get a small prompt saying the file name to write to is Hackers Academy. Now I have the option to change that. I'm not going to because that's the file I want to write to. So I'm just going to hit enter. I get a new message saying wrote one line. Now I can exit by typing the control X. If I do LS, I can see that the file has been created. And to verify the content of the file, I can do cat hackers academy. And here we go. I can see the line that I just typed. Let me edit this file a little bit more. And I'm going to add another line. I'm going to delete this line. To delete an entire line in Nano, you could do the Control K, which basically stands for cut, as in cut and paste. But for Nano, that's a small trick that you can use to just delete an entire line. Now, obviously, if I want to paste this line back, I can do that using the Control U. What if I wanted to search for some words? Imagine I have a big body of text and I want to search for some words. I can do that using the control W. You'll see a small prompt opens on the bottom left that says search. And this is where I type my search term. I'm going to look for the word Kali and I hit enter. And notice that my prompt jumps to Kali. Let me do another quick search. Control W line. See how the prompt jumps to the word line. All right, I'm done. I'm going to exit now. So control X and because I've been doing some changes, I'll get a prompt that says, do you want to save this file? If I type no, all the changes will get discarded. 
I don't want to save the file, so I'm just going to hit N and enter. So now if I cat the file, the content is still the same as before because I didn't save it. Let me go back and open the file again. And I'm going to add another line of text. Kali Linux course at Hackers Academy is the best. I'm being a bit cheesy now. I'm starting to love Linux. Let's do some word search again. I'm going to look for the word Linux. But I have more than one word in this text. So I start by control W, I say Linux, which takes me to the first Linux word. What if I want to find the next one and the one after that? I can do that by typing Alt W. This takes me to the next search term and the one after and the one after. Now let's say I decide I want to exit the file. I hit Ctrl X and then I change my mind. I think, no, I want to add some more text. What do I do? I type Ctrl C to cancel the exiting command. Let me add some more text. I'm starting to love nano2 and now if i type ctrl x again i will be asked do you want to save i'll say yes and hit enter let me cat the file again and here we go